Hello everyone, we're going to be multiplying polynomials here today. We'll start off with the simplest case where we multiply a monomial by a monomial, meaning one term by one other term. So, if we look at some of these examples, uh, in number one we have the first term, 3x squared, that's a monomial, times 4x to the fifth, that's a monomial. Okay, so the key to multiplying monomials is to think, multiply the coefficients. So each of these monomials has a coefficient, the first one's coefficient is 3, the second one's coefficient is 4. 3 times 4, 12. Now, we're ready to multiply some variables. Remember our properties of exponents. If we multiply two things with the same base, we add their exponents. So x to the second times x to the fifth is x to the seventh. And that's our answer. Let's try another one. This one we have 5xy times 6y cubed. So we have an x and a y here. But we start again by multiplying the coefficients. Coefficient 5, coefficient 6. Multiply them, we get 30. We look for x, and we don't see another uh, factor of x in the second monomial. So that's just going to be an x, because it's now another factor, kind of tagging along. But the y here, we have a y to the first times a y to the third. So we add those exponents, and we have y to the fourth. Terrific. Number three, coefficient of 1 half. Oh, that's so mean. Not really. 1 half times 8 is 4. Those are our coefficients. OK, now let's do our variables. x to the eighth and x to the third. Add those exponents, x to the eleventh. We have y to the second and y to the first gives us y to the third. And that's how easy multiplying monomials are. Let's move on to multiplying a monomial by a binomial. So a binomial has two terms. So inside the parentheses here, you see an addition or subtraction sign. And that's showing that uh, that's really splitting um, the two terms apart and making it a binomial. So when we have a monomial times a binomial, uh, you say that as many times as I have, we are going to use the distributive property. The monomial uh, is going to multiply by each of the terms inside the parentheses, each of the pieces of the binomial. It's just like the monomial examples we did ab above, except we get to do two of them in one problem. It's like, it's like a twofer. Who doesn't like that? All right, so. We're going to take the 2x squared times the 4x, or 2x cubed times the 4x squared first. Coefficients, 2 times 4, 8. Now we multiply x to the third times x to the second. We add those exponents, x to the fifth. So much fun. All right, now we're going to take the 2x to the third and distribute it to the 11x to the fifth. 2 times 11 is 22. And we've got x to the third and x to the fifth makes x to the eighth. Terrific. Oh no, there's a subtraction. Scary. Nah, it's not scary. All right, we're going to take the monomial up front, multiply by the first term of the binomial. 3 times 4, those are our coefficients. That gives us 12. b to the fourth and b to the third, we add those exponents. b to the seventh. All right, now we take 3b to the fourth and we multiply it by the negative 8w to the second. Hmm. Well, we can multiply the coefficients 3 times 8 and we get, well, it's 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. But do not add the exponents of different bases. So we have a base b and a base w. Well, we're just going to put them kind of next to each other. b to the fourth, w to the second. We can't add those exponents together. That is our answer. How much fun. All right, stay tuned for next uh, part of this video where we multiply binomials by binomials and binomials by trinomials. And we might just get so crazy we might even do a trinomial times a trinomial. Thanks for watching.